Naval Sorcerer to hatch of soot. With this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, my God. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. How's our favorite radio ham? Not ham, Mr. Mason. We're amateur radio operators. Oh, my apologies. Apologies accepted. Dr. Barnes, gentlemen, this is a demonstration of amateur radio. It's a hobby enjoyed by people of all ages. And anybody is free to operate on the air? Well, not quite, sir. Uh, first, one has to get a license. And to do that, you have to study a lot. And then you have to pass a pretty stiff exam, but it's worth it. I see. Well, how about the demonstration? Well, sir, if uh, you will listen through this, you should receive me loud and clear. In times of emergency, those hams become mighty important. Not hams, Dr. Barnes. Radio amateurs. <laughs> This is W6TZY, testing portable 6. W6TZY, testing on 2 meters, portable 6. This is W6TZY, portable 6. W6TZY, portable 6. Testing on 2 meters. Fred. gather around. Before I announce the winners, I would like to thank the students and faculty at Larkspur for their hospitality. And now for the results. First prize is awarded to Dorothy Beter. The runners-up are Irv Kaplan and Fred Whitey. Boy, Fred. What do you mean, that a boy, Fred? I didn't win. I lost. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. For a runner-up, he's taking it pretty hard. You are easy. <laughs> Car. My car is around the back. You get the others, I'll follow it. All right. Take care of my car.
dashes. Somebody's sending an SOS. Almighty oh, ice, 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 ice. I was driving too fast, way too fast. Not thinking about what I was doing. What were you thinking of? About being a loser? Yeah. Not winning doesn't mean you're a loser. In my book, it does. I'm afraid I broke a few parts in that slide. Yeah. I'll make my way up the hill and uh, start walking back to town. Thanks. Thanks for saving me. Right, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I had an accident, a bad one. I wish my car was in as good a shape as I am. It's all right, everything's fine. Fred's okay. He was just about gonna tell us what happened. Well, I came around that curve. I went off the road. And my car's at the bottom of the hill. I'm okay, though, thanks to Isis. Isis? Rick, why don't I take Fred and Dorothy with me? You and Cindy can arrange for his car. Okay. Uh, Cindy, let's you and me find a phone booth. company. While we're here, we might as well look around and then start the long walk back. I'll second that. Well, out of gas in a ghost town with a radio that doesn't work. Welcome to the ranks of the losers, Fred, old boy. 
When did people live here, Miss Thomas? About 1850, 55. Still don't believe in ghosts. Come on. <laughs> Must bend the wind. But there isn't any wind. You two wait here. Robbery. I'm beginning to understand this a little better. Let's move. Not so fast, folks. It's too bad you didn't get the message before. It would have saved us all a lot of inconvenience. All right, drain, load up. We're going to have to find a new place. Come on, over here. This was a perfect hideout. A few folks who came by didn't stay long. Surprising how many believe in ghosts. Uh, have a seat. Go on, go on. You folks are gonna have a long walk back. Hey! Take it easy there. What is it, Miss Thomas? I think I lost something must have happened when I fell. We'll have plenty of time to look for it after they leave. Boy, they sure must have stolen a lot of things to make a place like this. Come on, don't scratch it. Fred, could you get your radio to work? Not after the way it acted up this morning. What did it sound like? Well, first your voice came on, then there was a crackling noise, and then you were cut off. My antenna must have been shorting out. Let's give it a try. Cindy, sometimes you learn more by losing than by winning. Maybe, but it's not as much fun. Ready? Mayday. Mayday, this is W6TZ1 with an emergency. Does anyone copy?
We are in trouble. Mayday. Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, please send the police to the ghost town outside Larksburg. This is W6TZY. Does anyone copy? W6TZY, this is WB6KUC. I copy. I am calling the highway patrol. Please confirm your location. Larksburg, ghost town sound, please. I have them on the landline. They are on their way. I can continue to monitor this frequency. Good luck. W6TZY, WB6KUC. Okay, let's move it. I'll follow in their car. Keys, please. You are free to start walking whenever you want. Let's go. You two in there. I'll be right back. Hurry up before he finds out we're out of gas. pushing it a little. I have some unfinished business. Please tell the officers that I'll have some more passengers for them in a moment. down there looking for something she lost. Miss Thomas, you missed it all. I was just to And she locked up one of the men and then the police came and they went after the boys. Oh, it sounds so exciting. Oh, is that what you were looking for? 
Why, yes, Dorothy, this is it. I just don't understand what's going on around here. Fred, I'd really like you to have the trophy that I won. <laughs> well, thanks, Dorothy. But you did win. You know, it's funny, though. I don't feel much like a loser anymore. I guess when you feel good about yourself, it's a lot easier to handle losing. Now that's more like it. Let's go home, in my car. Your car? D did something happen to my car? No, but you really ought to have your gas gauge fixed. My gas gauge? That's the same thing that Isa said. How did you? No, no. I think I've been out in the sun too long.